Right, what we're going to do now is use the rules of indices to simplify the following. We've got 3x squared y times 4x cubed times y squared. B, 4x cubed y squared divided by 2xy. And C, 3x squared y cubed or cubed. Right, so we've got 3x squared y times 4 times x cubed times y squared. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. We're going to be using this rule. A to the m is equal to a to the m plus n. So we've got 12. x squared times x cubed is the same as x to the 2 plus 3. And then y times y squared is the same as y to the 1 plus 2. Don't, we've got a power here. There's no power. It's always to the power of 1. So that becomes 12. x to the power of 5. And y cubed as the final answer. For the division, we've got 4x cubed y squared divided by 2xy. Better to write it as a fraction. So 4x cubed y squared over 2xy. The rule is a to the m over a to the n is a to the m minus n. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Here we're going to have x to the 3 take away the power of this one, which is 1. So x to the 3 take away 1. Here we're going to have y to the power of 2 take away 1. So that's equal to 2, x squared, and then y to the 2 minus 1 is going to be y. Don't bother writing the power 1 in. In the final example, we've got 3x squared y cubed cubed. If we remember, the rule is a to the m to the n is a to the m times n. So we've got 3 cubed which is 27, 3 squared cubed, so that's going to be x to the 2 times 3, and then we've got y cubed cubed, which is going to be y to the 3 times 3. So we're going to have 27, x to the power of 6, y to the power of 9 as the final answer. So this has been a video to show you how to apply the rules of indices to simplify uh, algebraic expressions when multiplying, dividing or raising to a power. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.